Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to this, uh, well, multiplayer news for Dreadnoughts. They announced this yesterday, yesterday being Monday, May 6th. Um, I'm now having a look at the posts and I was very surprised really to see that we're going to be getting multiplayer. Multiplayer is something that has been requested time and time again. Um, I see it on quite a few videos. Is this game ever going to be multiplayer? And, well, <laughs> to my knowledge, the answer has always been no. But now we're getting a multiplayer DLC at some point in the future. Um, when? No idea. Uh, it just says we are currently working on a multiplayer DLC. Yes, um, this, by the looks of it, will not be free. It is a DLC. Um, I'm interpreting that as a paid DLC, although I don't really have a basis for that. The reason why I'm thinking it's going to be a paid DLC is because if uh, the publisher... So not strictly the devs, but the publisher still wants to make money from Dreadnoughts with people who've already bought the game. Well, DLC is the way to go. Uh, ask Paradox. So it's a multiplayer DLC, and I think that that's... I think that's the first time I've ever seen multiplayer get introduced through a DLC. Um, <laughs> sure enough, it's been added into games later on, but as a DLC, I'm not so sure. Now, it says we will invite up to 100 players to play the closed beta. Um, that means that there is a closed beta. However, um, it is something you can get into. There is a Steam thread. It says, want to participate? Write to us in this Steam thread. You need to own the base game of the Dreadnoughts. Fine. Um, and you also need to have your Steam a private or your Steam account not be private. As for their, let's say, the requirements, the qualifications, um, the players with a lot of gameplay hours will be chosen in order of priority. Um, or rather, will be chosen in priority. Like, I'm not sure how they're screening people. It could be people active on the forums. It could be uh, people with thousands and thousands of hours in the game. Um, as a friend <laughs> once said to me, <laughs> I think it was about... Uh, war game or war no a video uh i said look i do this for a living and he said yeah it doesn't mean you're good at it i was like "Ooh, <laughs> ouch but true uh people with thousands of hours in gameplay doesn't necessarily are good at the game which yeah um i mean this is their their qualification this is their requirement it's fine Players with a lot of gameplay hours, uh, whether that is uh, 150 hours or 1500 or 5000, I don't know. Please note we have a limited account of or limited amount of keys, so based on user demand, we'll stop sending keys without further notice. As for uh, important notes, and I would like to see more important notes, it is definitely needing work, includes bugs, inconsistencies, not fully updated, blah, blah, blah. Servers may be dysfunctional and often get repairs. Um, this is definitely going to include wipes. I mean, they're, um, they definitely wipe a lot. The way that patches are usually introduced is a goodbye campaign. They just, they just don't work anymore. I'm not surprised that's going to be the same way with the, the multiplayer feature. We're aware of the problems, um, but you can report what creates a big issue for you. Uh, this I read as a big plus because they're definitely looking for player input. They want to see how the community responds, how these players play the game, um, definitely what sort of exploity weird things they're going to find. Your saved designs and leaderboard score may be reset several times and will not function in the final game. Okay, so two things. You can use saved designs apparently in this battle or in this multiplayer version, and there is a leaderboard. This is kind of where I'm missing information. Um, what leaderboard are we looking at exactly? Uh, is this, let's say, taking inspiration from, I don't know, World of Warships? Is this going to be 10v10, 3v3, 15 versus 15? I think the latter is rather unlikely. Um, considering that the game somehow or sometimes has frame rate issues. If you got 15 people playing 15 people and you're looking at a... <laughs> let's say you're looking at a 1950s battle where every uh, one is playing one battleship and everybody has two-inch guns. Uh, most, most PCs will start to look like a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> at that point. And I really don't expect to see anything like that. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't say what the, the multiplayer scale is going to be so I guess that is something that they might be testing 
maybe they want player input on that. Um, there's no talk, for example, of a co-op campaign, which I think would be really interesting. The ability to have, let's say somebody manages, I don't know, one cruiser's division and the other one manages the battleships, for example. Something like that. I'm not sure how difficult to code that is. Um, but yeah, that would be interesting. The keys you will receive will expire prior to the full release when the testing is no longer needed. We may share free keys to players who help us greatly in the testing processes. I get it, but I don't like it. Um, these testers are investing time into a game that they think is valuable to them, that they enjoy. Um, so let's say they're to some extent getting rewarded with enjoyment. But they're also giving very valuable tester feedback, saying, hey, uh, uh, I did this battle and this did work, or uh, I fought this battle against this player and we were out of sync after two minutes. I don't know. Stuff like that, and then not rewarding it. Um, I'm not sure if this is something that the devs have decided or the publisher above them. I think there's always going to be some, some interference there uh, and some conflicts of interest. Because the devs may want to have a lot of time working on the game and working on all sorts of bugs that they want to fix. And the publisher could be like, well, it's nice that you guys are building a multiplayer DLC, but we want this thing out the door in three months. Uh, ready or not, <laughs> we need the money. Or rather, we want the money. I think publishers not always need the money. Anyway, um, there is no strict NDA. This is good. Uh, this means there is no restriction in posting feedback, images, videos about the new multiplayer version. However, we can and we will cancel the key immediately for everyone that will execute any form of abuse versus other players, cheating, illegal activity, etc. Um, you will cancel the key immediately for anyone that executes any form of abuse. Multiplayer? <laughs> no abuse? Um, if wishes were horses? <laughs> It's rather unlikely that we're not going to see any kind of abuse. I mean, they, it they might mean verbal abuse, like you're you're swearing at other players. But I think wherever it's going to involve multiplayer, um, I mean, if people play a board game, it's not that likely to have that much abuse. If people are playing a multiplayer game online from the safety of their, their own keyboard, you're going to get keyboard warriors. This is going to get interesting. I'm not sure how they're going to police this. Uh, there's a new forum on Steam that will be viewable to all game owners where testers can share their feedback and other game owners can offer their suggestions and ideas. So they're definitely looking to involve the rest of the community and they are looking to uh, see what the community thinks about what the ta what the, the play testers are seeing. So you got, let's say, this, this, this core group of testers and then you got everybody else who can also have a look. Um, I will link this post and especially the participation link in a pinned comment down below. So if you want to, you can join. However, uh, be advised, at the time of recording, we already have 344 <laughs> comments. So there's going to be a lot of them. Now, I was um, very happy to see that uh, Dartis uh, slash Nick already reached out to me and said, are you interested in being invited into the playtest? And I said, yes, I would very much like to see how the how the multiplayer is going to take shape. Um, so rather soon, I hope, um, you guys will be able to see multiplayer videos of Dreadnoughts on the channel. Again, I have no idea what that's going to look like. I have no idea what sort of format it's going to be. We'll see. But maybe we can um, either, well, share ideas down below or uh, spitball some ideas that you might have. Let me know down below in a comment what sort of multiplayer you think would be ideal for Dreadnoughts or what sort of, um, I don't know, maybe scenarios you want to play. Uh, let's say maybe one side plays, I don't know, the Bismarck and the other side plays a couple of British ships that have to stop the Bismarck. Um, yes, you don't have a swordfish bomber, but whatever. You'll have to make it do some other way. I'm interested in seeing how this is going to go down. Um, if this works, and if it works well, I think it can be really good for Ultimate Everyone Dreadnoughts. If they somehow... Let's say if they half-ass this, I... Um, yeah, I'm a bit concerned, but, well, let's hope it's going to be good. Again, I'll keep you posted. Be subscribed to the channel and you'll, well, hopefully soon see multiplayer videos.
Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, I look forward to seeing all your ideas about the multiplayer link or the multiplayer versions. Thank you for watching and potentially see you soon online in Ultimate Dreadnoughts multiplayer.